Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm not at home. I'm actually at the famous Moratoglu Academy. It's my last day here. I've been here for a week and I'm gonna take you back to take a look at what I've been up to. Let's get into it. Welcome back. If you saw my last video, you'll know there are two reasons why I'm here at the Moratoglu Tennis Academy. Number one, I'm wanting to spend more time around other experienced coaches. And number two, Felix is actually training here for a week, so it's a fantastic opportunity for me to get to know him better on and off court. So we're gonna rewind back to the first day that I got here and I'm gonna show you through what I've been up to each day. But before we do, make sure that if you enjoy this video, you hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, say hi in the comments below. So I'd been invited by the Moratoglu team to the academy quite some time ago, but things never really worked out, our diaries never matched up. However, once Felix told me that he had a training week here, I got back in touch with the Moratoglu team and got the green light, which I was super excited about. So I arrived at the academy on Sunday. I actually arrived quite a few hours before Felix did, so I had a chance to roam around the academy, take a look. I was fortunate enough to be staying in the Moratoglu Resort Hotel. The rooms were lovely and I knew I was going to have a good night's sleep as I had Stefanos looking over me. On Sunday it was pretty quiet as lots of the academy players were having a rest day and Patrick was away with Holger in the middle of his unbelievable winning spree. Although it was unfortunate that Patrick, Holger, Stefanos and some of the other pros weren't there due to being at the Paris Masters, I was really really excited to meet the rest of Team Moratoglu. When Felix arrived in the early afternoon, he'd already arranged a hitting practice with Jules Marie. If you don't know Jules, he's 480 in the world currently. He's actually got his own YouTube channel documenting his journey just like Felix's. Jules is a very experienced tennis player in his early 30s and has played on the tour for many years. So it was an amazing opportunity for Felix to be on court with him. first impressions of the academy were incredible. Not just the tennis facilities, but the resort as a whole was beautiful. Definitely the nicest tennis academy I've been to so far. As you know, I get up super early, so got up, had breakfast, ready for sunrise, and shortly after that, the Moratoglu team took me for an official tour of the academy. What I didn't realize was I'd only seen a very small portion of the academy. Behind the scenes, there is an awesome medical center with ice baths and specialist equipment to help players with rehab. There was the pro players strength and conditioning zone. There was a spa, as well as a whole building for the marketing team, offices, meeting rooms, etc. After this, I joined Felix for his warm up and then for his first strength and conditioning session with Fabian. During this session, Fabian took Felix and another player through lots of mobility exercises before getting into plyometrics, agility work and core. There were lots of standard exercises and exercises that you would expect tennis players to do, but there were also some fresh ideas for me to take back into my own coaching as well. In one of my upcoming Moratoglu videos, I'm going to be going through one of Felix's training days in more detail, so if you want to see that one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. After this session, we had lunch in the players' canteen before Felix's on-court session, which was indoors on the hard court in the bubble. This session was a hitting session with one of the Moratoglu coaches, Thomas. This session was all about high volume and high quality. All of the drills were live ball drills, with Felix aiming for good tempo, good depth, and working on a bit of change of direction as well. That evening, we went again to the players' canteen for dinner, and what really, really struck me was how much of an inspiration Felix has been to lots of young players. There were so many kids lining up to get photos with Felix, telling him how many of his videos they've been watching. I'm not sure Felix quite understands how much of an impact he has had on all of these kids' lives. For me to see this, it was really special. So Felix, we've got a special message from your biggest fan. What do you have to say? So I have to say good luck in Spain. Fight it out to be a fighter like you always are. And good luck. I wish you the best of luck in the future. And maybe we'll see you in five years. we we'll like to find a beach in one of the grand clubs. So bye. Go get it, Felix. So the next day was Tuesday. And surprisingly, the day was full of rain. This meant for a big reschedule of all of the practices and SSC, as not only at the academy are pro and elite players playing, but there are also adult camps and junior camps running alongside these as well. Fortunately, the academy has four courts under a bubble and plenty more that are undercover as well. 
The first session we had was Felix again in the SNC tent. This time he was working on upper body exercises. This was followed by an on-court hitting session again on the indoor hard courts with Pablo, who's currently ATP ranked at 1500. Again, this was a really intense session, but this one included slightly more open point play. After these sessions, I had a workout myself and got some admin done. And after dinner, I had a gentle hit with Felix on the show court, which if you haven't seen it before, is singles only, and it has stadium seating around. Felix and I had some fun games. We played a game of bounce, which unfortunately Felix destroyed me in. I'm not surprised. After breakfast on Wednesday, I was invited on court to watch one of my friends, Thomas Perrin, who is a Moritoglu coach, working with his player Sada, who is currently 252 in the world. This was a real privilege to watch. In fact, I filmed the whole session, so next week's video, you're gonna get to see what happened in that session. Afterwards, I was invited to play five-a-side football with the Moritoglu coaching team. Five minutes into the hour, my lungs were gone and my feet were blistered, but I had the most incredible fun. It was a real honour to be invited by the coaching team. Fortunately, there's no footage of this. However, I took a photo of the war wounds. Wednesday was a super busy day, as straight after the football match, I headed over to the offices to meet with Team Moritoglu. Not ideal, as I was bright red and super sweaty. However, the meeting was great, and after that, I rushed straight back to the indoor courts where Felix had what I think was his best session of the week. He was playing a practice match with Alexei Popperin. Now, Popperin is currently ranked 107 in the world. This is the most highly ranked player Felix has played with, and Felix did not disappoint. Now I won't tell you the score and spoil it for you, Felix is actually posting this video tomorrow so make sure you head over to his channel to subscribe so that you don't miss that. But for me as a coach I was super proud of how Felix dealt with the situation. Being on court during this match and watching Felix play somebody who has been in the top 60 in the world was truly incredible. After this session Felix had another fitness session but this time it was cardio and it was brutal. Felix was on the running machine, wearing a heart rate monitor, with Fabian tracking his heart rate and pushing him to his limits. Felix grafted so hard, and it's safe to say that by the end of the day, he was shattered. When Thursday morning came around, surprisingly, it was another rain day, which in this part of France is very, very rare. However, Felix had another hitting session with Pablo, where they played lots of practice points. Although Felix was super fatigued from the days before, he put up some good fight. Overall, I had the most incredible time at the academy and as a coach, I feel inspired from it. And I'm sure that that inspiration from this week is going to last for many years, as it will with Felix and the other players that have experienced it here. So as you saw, I had a truly incredible experience here at the Moritoglu Academy this week, but there were so many coaches and players that I didn't get to meet, so I would love to come back again. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sharing a few more videos from this trip as I got a lot more footage. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular from this trip you'd like to see more of. Thanks as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as it massively helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing so that you can see more of my content. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh.